What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to be installing some OEM Mitsubishi brake cooling guides for the Evo X. So this is how it comes st straight from Mitsubishi. I actually bought these on Map Performance. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on them. They were I think normally 190 and I got them for 140. So I'm going to open this guy up quickly. Then this is how they come packaged. Woo! As you can see, the front end of the Evo is all apart because I'm uh, working on some uh, radiator work, oil cooler work. But nice and prepackaged, super light. They're like I didn't. I thought it was gonna weigh more than that. So. Okay, so those are these are in one packaging. It's just the cooling guides themselves, and then in the other package is the adapter bracket, the brackets that will attach to the lower control arm. Being OEM, you get some nice instructions. So they are for the eight, nine, and ten. And that's what it kind of looks like, and it shows you what tools you'll need. Okay, so a socket wrench, a 10, 14, extension bar, torque wrench, tape, saw, flat file. So, we'll go over the install process and go from there. So, once you use the supplied hardware, these are 10 millimeters bolted up to the brackets, you're going to obviously want to mount them up to the mounting point over here on the lower control arm which is also for the front sway bar so just so that you know which way is which that is kind of how it's supposed to sit so you want it scooping upwards so it's going to scoop the air and then it's going to bring that air to the caliper there as you can see i also have a duct uh or a yeah brake duct adapter right there that I'm going to be using later on that was mounted previously um, but I don't want to deal with the hose right now so I'm just going to mount these up so those guys are uh, 14 millimeters and uh, I am going to use my handy dandy Milwaukee 3 8 ratchet over there to pop those guys off and then mount this guy on and in the instructions they also give you the torque spec on tightening everything down which is super nice so you don't have to just guess what the torque spec is so I had to use a couple uh, adapters, so I used an extension and then uh, a wobble joint or whatever you want to call it to kind of get the best angle to it. Had to move the steering wheel a couple times. But after that, you can kind of lift that up. And then what you're going to do, I mean, I'm going to clean it beforehand, but just to show you guys, this just simply slides right underneath there, or it slides on top of it, sorry. So it slides right on top inside of that bracket and then you'll put the bolts on and then finger remember always finger thread first and then use either a regular ratchet or a power impact ratchet just so that you prevent cross threading So once you get it torqued down, it should look something like this, mounted on top, everything's nice and sturdy. Um, the manual says to torque it down to 34 to 44 newton meters, 
So that's somewhere approximately like 30 to 35 foot pounds. Um, and I didn't have a small enough torque wrench um, to get into there. So what I did basically is I used the Milwaukee Fuel, um, the 3 8 impact. I, I snugged it, I didn't send it all the way. And then after that, I actually just used a small, a regular ratchet um, with the same 14 millimeter and extensions and just snugged it by hand enough, but it's not gonna go anywhere. So, so pretty straightforward install. You know, once you do this side, just do the opposite on the other side and you'll be done. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, it's really cool because it's an OEM part. So it's meant to be there. Um, and it works. Now, the way that it works, best way to describe it is kind of when you put a spoon under a faucet um, with the water running, the water sprays everywhere. Exact same concept with this, except it's a little bit more channeled and it's more direct. There's a direction for the air to go rather than just going everywhere. So basically the air is forced to uh, the area for the rotor uh, and the caliper to help cool that area off. And it's a great, um, mod for someone that doesn't want to use brake ducts, um, doesn't want to drill holes or, you know, w worry about running holes or anything like that. Um, and it's also great for someone who wants to run both to help cool the brakes even more. Uh, I mean, you can't really have too much cooling, if that makes sense, out on track, um, to a point. Um, but obviously, um, that's dependent on, uh, your setup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please like the video and uh, leave me a comment down below. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything, I will do my best to respond to you guys. And you, if you haven't subscribed already, as always, please do. I appreciate it. It motivates me even more uh, to put out more content for you guys uh, when I'm available to do so. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.